I feel like I've experienced both sides of the coin. Um, I'd spent the first part of my artistic journey having not studied, so I was quite a late comer to a degree. In my early 30s, I did my BA at uh, Camberwell, UAL. So as I was traveling, often around Europe or South America, I would be making work and selling work as I was traveling, often in the street or markets or selling to bars, cafes. I always had the dream of being a professional artist, but I knew I loved to travel. I decided to study because I really enjoyed my BA and how much they pushed me to hone in on what makes my work relevant, what makes it interesting, what makes it stand out, I suppose. And that led to the Terps Painters course, uh, which is an artist-led collective. So I did a year with them and that was great as well. That was some really honest insights into what it's like to be a professional artist in London or in the UK. Again, that then pushed me to get to do the MA at the RCA. And I feel working alongside the students there has really pushed my practice quite, quite far. So I feel definitely quite good about the results of having gone through a formal education. I think it has helped. One of the most important things that you leave art school with is a community of other artists who are receiving opportunities and are having shows. Um, you meet gallery owners, you meet curators, uh, you meet documentary filmmakers. Yeah, the formal education has left me with something to work with, which are the small stepping stones that lead to a career where people may be interested, more interested in your work, I suppose.